Hello everyone, it's XX Dragon Planet XX here with another tutorial. So today we will be making a Obi. Now these are quite popular on Roblox, so I thought I'd decide to uh, show you guys how to make one to see if you can test your skills at this building style. So anyways, um, I have put together a kit just because they're easier for me to work off of to show you guys what I'm doing. But uh, it's right here in this model, so as soon as you get it, just uh, go and uh, right-click it and then ungroup it. There we go. So, as you can see, we have three spawn points, uh, two killing blocks. We have lava and acid. Uh, we have a bunch of building parts right here. Uh, this is an admin door that I put in just for people who wanted to add sort of like admin gear when they enter the game. And this is for things like spinners and that kind of thing. And I'm thinking of adding a truss, like a truss piece in later, but that's for future development. Anyways, uh, so we are going to begin with first making the base plate a little bit shorter. So I can have, I can have something shorter to work off of. I thought it was right size, but no, it wasn't. Alright, there we go. That'll be our location. So I am going to first start off with the spawns, because they're the most confusing part of this so we'll just get the rest of this out of the way all right so these are what is going to fuel your entire obi you cannot create one without these so this is a normal spawn location you've probably seen it in most games uh, but for obis it is a lot different than uh, what you're used to so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go down here and in here there is you'll see the brick color so that color you want to match with your team color now these colors don't always have to match but it is preferable when you are um, like trying to show which is which uh, also there's these two new buttons that you don't usually see on other bricks uh, neutral and allow team change on touch so that basically allows me say the neutral one is the one that you will start on but say if I wanted if I complete it on a lava jumps and I go over to this spawn and I go and hit it it will allow me to change the color but it's not a neutral spawn because I don't want people starting on the second part right so we can we on your farther parts you do not want to make it a neutral part but you want to be allow it to change uh, the team color for them so that's the same with this one just different colored so um, that's pretty much all that's all for the spawns except up here there's one more thing that you probably might have not have noticed it's the teams so right now we have the bright blue and right bright red uh, team so what we can do with them uh, say we wanted to start that can be our starting point right and we wanted the bright blue uh, to be on a acid oh whoops acid jumps so we can put that there and now um, when we go and look at it it will now say when that little screen up here pops up it'll say acid jumps and start as two of the spawn locations now say that one since bright yellow is not a normal team color that you need to make one what you can simply do is go click on the teams thing go down to the advanced objects to find team there it is, it's like a soccer ball. There it is, team. Now we have to change the team color to match our spawn color. So try not to duplicate um, two spawns. You might have to go through all the colors. Um, but we can name this one, I don't know, Lava Spinners. There. Uh, there is also, oh, uh, whoops. Two things to go along with this is auto assign and auto color characters. Uh, this one you want to keep checked. This one you want to keep checked. But that's only for the start one. When you get to farther on parts, so your second place, you want to get rid of auto assign so nobody can start on it. And there we go. So that's pretty much it for the spawns that you need to know. Uh, you can probably make them into different sort of sizes and stuff like that, but I'm just going to just wanted to show you that pretty much to start off with and uh, what should I show you now um, I'm just gonna go with the uh, let's start with the building of it 
So, in order to make an obstacle course or OB, you want to start out with your beginning little spawn in the middle. If it is in the middle, if I can correctly position it. And then we're going to need some parts, which are also included in the kit, as I showed you before. So we're going to go, we're going to, oops, it's in the spawn. We can go, uh, right click that, create C, V. And that's just an easier, faster way of doing it. So let's make these, uh, yeah, that's, that's good. And we're going to extend it a little bit. There we go. And we'll make these uh, lava jumps. So we're going to put a lava. I mean, no, we can leave that there. Copy, paste. And we can put these lava jumps, resize them on. And we can just put them all along the thing. And that's pretty much how you make an obstacle course. It's not too difficult. Except for the spawns possibly being the most difficult part of it. Uh, so try not to copy the colors because you will screw up. And I know I know from experience as I have done that before. Uh, and also we're going to need another base plate. There we go. And we'll drag over this one all the way over here. Boop. There we go. And um, so this one was going to be lava jumps. I mean, acid jumps. So we'll take the acid over. And we'll give it, I don't know, let's give it some creativity. Oh, no, not that. Let's give this one a little bit of creativity to go with it. So we can just, I don't know, flatten these out, I guess. And you want to make obstacle courses as uh, unique as possible because there is a lot of them. And the more unique, be the more unique you are, the more, um, how can I say this? The better it's going to look when you go show it off. So there we go. There's one. There we go. And we'll just copy that one more time and that'll be good. Also remember to anchor everything as I had tried to make this before already and everything completely collapsed, which was kind of embarrassing. So then we're just going to copy this base plate over here. Boop. And boop get our next spawn point put it down done and that's pretty much it to make an obi you just have to uh, add little bits and parts and stuff like that um... oh what else was I going to show you Let's just put this back over here with the kit um... oh yes in order to make a spinner this is one thing that most people don't understand but is extremely simple say we want to do lava spinners done that's it that's all you have to do literally place it on top of the motor part and you're done it should automatically spin give a second run get that on there and then what you have to do is you have to take the two parts I think you have to turn them into a model oh crap oops can't get this <laughs> and group I don't know if it'll work now but uh, anyways, you get the point. You just have to put them on pretty easily, and then it's done. Uh, so, yeah. That's pretty much it with the lava spinner. If mine doesn't work, you can just pretty much search one up in free models and get it right away. And just alter it to whatever you need to alter it to. Uh, the admin door, pretty self-explanatory. Lets you into places that nobody else can go. Uh, you can go into the script in here. Go in there. And I've already put my name in just as an example, but you can put your name here. So let's just say your name was, I don't know, let's go with uh, Billy Bob Joe. And now the, per now the character named Billy Bob Joe can get through this door 
easily without uh, any problems. But if you are not Billy Bob Joe, you will be killed uh, as soon as you touch the door. So yeah, deadly, but leads to happiness. Uh, there's, and you can always add different parts, make things look detailed. Like I don't know, I wanted to make my door look more detailed. I'm gonna add extra parts because I don't like it fancy. There, makes it look like Mickey Mouse. That's great. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, to make your own obi. Um, I just need to show you one last thing, and that is how to create more of these spawns in different colors. So let's say I wanted one to be pink. You gotta remember where that color was. So you have to remember that. If we go down to here. Let's go there. Find that pink. Same pink. Get rid of the neutral. Go down. Teams. Put in your team. Let's go into the team color. There we go. Not auto assign. Name. Bye. And that's pretty much it on how to make your own obi. It is quite simple. Uh, just the spawns and uh, possibly the spinner and admin door might trip you up. But that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed this video and I hope you have good luck in making your obstacle course. Uh, please leave a like comment subscribe whatever you want to do I don't really care uh, thumbs up always shows your support and uh, as always this is XX Dragon Planet XX signing up peace out guys bye